Brendan, what's happening, man? This is Coach Raddick at University of Richmond. I'm here for your video analysis. First off, man, it was awesome getting to see you at camp. Hopefully you enjoyed this extra hitting session and getting to play in front of the coaches. We're going to jump into your video here, man. So first thing, if you haven't done so already, I want you to take a peek at the email that I sent you. So in there, there's going to be a lot of good stuff. The player development video and the end game approach video uh, will be good, uh, good content for you. And then also um, the hitters drill library. I want you to take a look at those core T drills and the prep drills if you haven't done so already because we're going to be referencing some of those as we go through your video here. So if you watch some of those um, ahead of time, it'll make – uh, more sense as I use certain words, phrases, things like that. So yeah, man, hopefully this is not uh, is, is a good way, not only for me to suggest some things that I see in your swing, but also give you some ways to work on those things using some of the drills that we do with our guys on a daily basis at the University of Richmond. So um, ton to like about your swing, dude. You're very athletic. You move really well. Um, so I think some of the things that I'm going to be discussing with you aren't going to be hard adjustments for you to make. Um, I think, I think, I think, uh, they're going to be kind of good things that kind of supplement things that you already do. Um, and that's the goal, right? That's the goal is, uh, not just, you know, to suggest things I see, but also give you ways to work on those things using some of the drills that we do with our guys on a daily basis at the university of Richmond. So, uh, first thing I want you to check out Bregman up here. Um, the first thing we're going to look at is, our initial loads. I want you to notice here, big leaguers all do a great job of this, obviously, getting into the ground on their load, right? Really putting force into their back foot, which is going to allow them to really get into the back hip. Um, notice that front side there too, kind of torqued, right? That front front hip pointing towards the second baseman. And that's going to really keep them strong on their back leg there, even right as Bregman is moving forward, even as that front hip is moving forward, uh, because he had that good first load, um, he's able to stay on that backside all the way into his launch position, okay? Um, and notice, right, as he's getting into his launch position here, um, notice how, right, uh, probably 60% of his weight is on the backside. He's still in that back hip. This is going to put him in a good position to rotate from, right? That's what hitting's all about is um, we want to make sure when that foot hits the ground, we are in a strong position for, uh, for us to rotate, okay? So um, looking at you here, all right, I do like – your first move, you can really tell that you're look you're loading back, which I love, right? Um, one thing I would tell you is you can see here as you move forward, right? You're kind of popping up, okay? So that's showing me, man, maybe maybe in that that first load, um, you could do a better job of getting down, getting in those legs, right? Really thinking about, hey, putting force into that back foot, sinking down into the, my back hip right? And that's going to, um, I think really help you. Okay. And then notice too, right? As you're moving forward, you can kind of see, Hey, I'm getting out of my hip a little bit and you're getting a little too much on that front side, right? A little difference here with Bregman where he's got a little more weight on that backside. You're probably more 50, 50, maybe kind of erring on the side of, of getting a little too far on that front foot. Um, which, uh, which is going to limit you as you're, as you're looking to use your hips and kind of uh, turn um, uh, and rotate in your swing. Okay. So a couple drills. I know I just talked about a lot there. A couple drills I want you to look at um, are prep drills. So the med ball drills and the band drills, those are going to be fantastic for you. I think to work on those things that we, that we talked about earlier, um, getting into the ground, getting into the hip, um, watch those videos. I'll go more in depth as to what I'm looking for, but I love doing those with our guys. Cause it's a really good way to um, isolate the lower half, right? And work on those things without having a bat in your hand. Once you put a bat in your hand, you're thinking about other things, which is, is fair, right? Because you got to hit the baseball. So it's um, it's it's good, I think, to work on some of those lower half things, uh, right? Not having to worry about what's going on with, with my upper body. So definitely check all those drills out. I also, the T drill I want you to look at for this is step back drill, okay? So with step back drill, I'm really emphasizing, right? Force into the ground with the back foot. And then I want you to think about sinking down, right? So as you step back, right? Think about going down, right? So if you were to draw like a line above your head here, right? As you, um, as you load, you should be that your head should be kind of going below that line, if that makes sense. Um, also Bellinger drill, I think is going to be fantastic for you in just working on that forward move, really thinking about staying on that backside, not getting too far forward on the front foot. Okay. Next thing we're going to look at is our launch position. Um, 
Oh, I noticed. I know we talked about that a little bit, a little bit too far forward. Um, upper body, I think, is fine, right? You see a lot of guys maybe have their bat a little too much tilted here. Um, I think you're in a good spot here. So I do want you to check out no stride drill, okay? Really good one to work on launch on your, on your launch position. I think for you, really emphasizing in your launch position, I still want you to feel um, in that feel like you're in that back hip and in that back leg like Bregman, okay? Um, kind of like if you were like in a, in a, in a you know, ha like you, you had your legs wide, you had a big heavy bucket of water, you were ready to throw it on somebody, you're probably going to be pretty loaded up in that back leg, um, right? Because you, you, you couldn't throw that big heavy bucket of water um, without without being strong um, on that backside. So um, yeah, no stride drill, watch that video. I'll go a little more in depth as to what I'm looking for with that. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at, the last thing, is um, what happens after we get to our launch position, okay? So I'm going to draw a line right down the middle of Bregman's body. We're going to call that our center line, okay? Um, I want you to notice how throughout Bregman's swing, he never crosses the line, right? He always stays on the line as he's swinging, um, and that is largely – hold on, I drew the line a little bit too. Let me draw a new line here bothering me sorry <laughs> here we go all right um and so he's staying on that line and i want you to notice a couple things that are happening as a result of him staying on that line so notice how deep his barrel gets in the zone right all the way back here his barrel's already in the hitting zone um and even once he tur completely turns his hips notice how his barrel is still deep in the zone and his hands haven't even crossed his body yet that's going to really allow his barrel to accelerate through the hitting zone and then even after contact, his barrel is staying on that line through the zone. Um, we'll call that extension, right? All this is happening because he is staying on that center line right there, okay? So we're going to do the same thing for you. Line down the middle of your body, okay? Um, a little bit in front of it, but pretty good, right? Pretty good. So I think we can work on that a little bit. So notice um, mostly those moves right there right see how those hips are sliding forward a little bit before you're starting to rotate um, that's kind of what i want to see from you is not like not letting those hips slide forward before you rotate but immediately from like right here right the next movement on on the video is you already starting to turn okay so a couple of things because of that because those hips are sliding forward i want you to notice your hands kind of have to push forward, push, and you, you're really having to fight your hands inside the baseball, and you're really having to fight to get your hips cleared. And you do a good job, right? You got that little scissor move on that back foot where um, you're really getting that space cleared so you can get to the baseball, which is awesome. But I think if you're, if you're going to rotate a little sooner, a little earlier – um, you're going to have a much like freer, clearer swing. Um, that barrel is going to get in the zone earlier. You're probably going to have a little more bat speed as the barrel's coming through the zone. And then also looking at, um, looking at your contact point here, watch after contact point, see how your barrel gets out of the zone versus Bregman's where it kind of pushes through the zone. So, um, I think you can kind of fix a lot of these things just by, um, rotating better on that center line. Okay. So I want you to watch, uh, Pedroia drill, one of my favorite drills. Okay. Um, really emphasizing clearing space between you and the baseball. And the thing I love about Pedroia drill is the, the, the result of what happens is going to be your feedback, right? So if you're able to hit that good clean line drive to the back of the net, you're going to know for sure, Hey, I'm doing it right. I'm staying on my center line. And if you're not, then you're going to be like, Hey, you know, I'm shifting in front of the, I'm shifting in front of the line need to make sure I'm rotating more behind the baseball. Okay. We've had a lot of guys who've had really good results from this. Um, just feeling that drill a little bit and incorporating it into their routine. Um, they've pretty much had like instant results. So definitely check that one out. It's one of my favorites, but just to recap the prep drills, band drills, med ball drills, I think are awesome for you and working on that initial load, making sure you're sinking down into your legs. All right. Um, step back drill, Bellinger drill, Bellinger drill, especially making sure you're staying stacked on that backside, not getting too far on that front foot. Uh, no stride drill. Keep working on in that no, in that launch position. Keep staying stacked in that hip and in that back leg, so you're in a good position to rotate. And then finally, Pedroia drill, um, making sure that you're not sliding those hips forward once you get into your launch position, but that you're rotating behind the ball, clearing space, 
Um, and I think that's really going to help you. So, um, man, that's all I got for you. Hopefully this is helpful. I know uh, school probably just started up. So best of luck to you as you head into your fall season. Um, definitely keep me in the loop with how you're doing. Um, hope, uh, hope there's some, some stuff in here that's going to help you with, with your development. And there's some drills that you're able to incorporate into your routine, but, uh, yeah, man, if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, we look forward to seeing you again in the future and have a good one. We'll talk to you soon.